it's time for the sandbox news. This week, we have some updates to sandbox mode, graphics improvements, including unlimited high quality lights, updates to the Minecraft style game, add-ons, and the editor, including a new add-on type, content. Previously, we only had games and map add-ons. Now we can make content. And there's also updates to the hammer editor. Now for a quick word from our sponsor. Are you a sandbox queue enjoyer? Well, I have the perfect shirt for you, the QT. I've worn a couple shirts in my life, and I have to say, this is very realistic. If you look at it, it says, could not log in. That's wild. It's only available for a limited time, and it helps out the channel a ton. So if you're interested, go buy the shirt. Uh, if you're not, don't buy the shirt. Also, I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers. So if you click the like button and subscribe, it would mean a lot trying to help reach the goal. I'm on Construct here, and it doesn't look like there's been any updates to this. However, there are other updates to the sandbox mode, including the first person arms. So we can see here, the fists have animations now, so I can actually punch objects, and we'll see the guy punching. Whatever mouse button I click determines the fist that throws a punch. However, it's inverted, so if I do a right click, it'll do a left fist, and if I do a left click, it'll do a right fist. The box shooter tool has been updated. Now if I right click, I can select an object. No, that doesn't seem to be a thing. Oh, it's reload. If I reload, I can choose the model. And it looks like I chose a metal fence and the metal fence spawns inside of me. <laughs> so it killed me when I shot it. That's very realistic. I wonder if I can use it on these destructible walls. This destructible fence is only set up to be a static model. So it's just frozen in place. I wonder if I can use my fizz gun to move it. No, it's just stuck there forever. Can I delete it? Yeah. We have improvements to the high quality dynamic lights. Previously, there was a hard limit on how many shadow casting lights we could have at once. If you spawn too many, they would start to blink and disappear. It seems this hasn't been implemented yet, but we can see it here in the screenshot from the developers. It uses a dynamic shadow atlas. So theoretically, we could have an unlimited amount of dynamic shadow casting lights. The loading screen was improved. If I load into a map, we'll see a preview image of the map. Here's the preview image for a construct. It's a very old screenshot. There's updates to Core Wars, the Minecraft style game. This isn't public yet, but here we can see a video from the developers. The world has dynamic light map lighting. Now, I'm not sure if this is the same system as what we would get out of Hammer, or if this is a entirely different custom made system for this game. Again, it isn't public yet, so I can't look at the code to find out. There's a very basic procedural world generation and an inventory and health system. They're going for HD textures here instead of the standard Minecraft pixel look. And there's support for transparent or glass blocks. There's a bunch of updates to the editor and a new add-on type, content add-ons. So previously we only had game and map add-ons. Now we have a content add-on. This is useful for making content packs that other people can use or for something like Source Filmmaker, or if you have shared assets between different maps. Because previously, you would need to include your custom assets separately in each individual map. That could increase file sizes a ton. There's a bunch of new tabs up here too. We can see there's an icons tab. This shows you all the available icons that you can use in the game or in the menu. There's a performance graph. Shows me all the different utilizations here. We have rendering, render weight, bunch of client stuff, UI server. You can move all these tabs around, clicking and dragging them. So if I wanted my performance graph on the top here, I can see that. Although I feel like this might not be the most optimal use of screen space. We also have a new asset browser. Now this is separate from the default asset browser here, at least for now. We can see everything is separated into different folders that you can click on and you can view the content inside the folders. It looks like they're separated into special add-ons and content. I wonder if games and maps will be separated in the future. If I click on my back rooms game, there is nothing here. I can click on flatten hierarchy to see every single file inside this folder, regardless of the subfolders. Or I can click here and navigate the different folders. We can see here are my maps. There's no preview for any of these items yet but we do get to see some basic information about them on the right here. So I can do a full recompile. I can open the folder. 
And I can open an editor. I wonder... Oh, looks like it opens Windows Photo Viewer if I try to open this in the editor. If I was to open a map in the editor, it would open up Hammer. Looks like I can also right-click on the items to do the same things as over here, and I can copy the file path. I'll go to a add-on that has more assets, Metro, and I'll flatten the hierarchy. I can click on the search bar here, and I can do advanced searching features. So if I type T model, I'll only see all the models in the map. Looks like I don't even have to type out the whole word. I can just do M-A for material, M-O for model. If you want to type out the whole word, you can, but it's not necessary. T-E-X, sure. Looks like textures don't appear in here. Interesting. And it looks like you can also just search for things here. So if I was to search for piece, I would see all the different debris pieces that I have. Wow, there's a lot of debris pieces, 52 debris pieces. That's crazy. There's also some improvements to the hammer editor. I'll make a basic map. There's a big block. And if I do a box select on one of the 2D views, it now shows me the length and width of my selection. Previously, it was just a mystery. Also, the selection can be in world space, so I can actually move my camera around. This is an option under tools options, and I believe it's off by default currently. So under 2D view, world space, box select. You'll definitely want to turn this on. That's it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Also, buy the shirt if you want it. It helps out the channel a bunch. Okay.